Hi, in this video, we will look at the construction of high pressure pipe of a main engine. This is the component that delivers fuel under pressure from fuel pump to fuel valves. This is often one of the neglected components of the fuel oil system, which could result in annoying leaks or other issues. To dismantle the pipe from fuel pump, the union nut to be slackened first, followed by the union nipple, and similarly from the fuel valve side. Now, the complete high pressure pipe can be lifted off the engine. For overall of high pressure pipe, thrust bush to be unscrewed off the high pressure pipe and union nipple to be removed. It should be remembered that thrust bush has a left hand thread. Similarly, from the fuel valve side. With connections at both ends removed, flexible hose can be removed by pulling off from either sides. The important thing to check on high pressure pipe is the condition of tapered contact surface. If required, this needs to be reconditioned with the provided special tool. Imperfections such as dents or scratches on tapered contact surface may cause excessive leakage in running condition. The condition of the threads also needs to be checked and can be dressed up with special thread dye if required. After assembling, the position of thrust push on the high pressure pipe must be measured and adjusted as per manufacturer's specified value. In this particular case, it is 14 mm. With union nipple assembled at fuel valve side, the flexible hose can be inserted from the fuel pump side. Similarly, contact surface and threads needs to be checked on fuel pump side and dressed up if required using the provided special tools. Position of thrust bush needs to be checked and adjusted as per the manufacturer's specified value. Now, if we take a look at the cross section view, we can see that the leaked off fuel from the contact surface is prevented from leaking outside because of O-rings on the fuel valve and on the flexible hose. Thus, leaked off fuel travels through the space between the high pressure pipe and flexible hose towards the fuel pump. Here again, sealing is done by the O-rings on the flexible hose and on the union nipple. Leaking oil from fuel valve side is mixed with oil leaking from the contact surface of fuel pump. This oil from both the high pressure pipes is led outside through the internal bores in fuel pump top cover to a drain where it would be possible for watchkeepers to inspect the amount of leakage from each unit. Leakage oil from all units passes through a leak off tank which would give an alarm if the leakage exceeds a predetermined amount. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative or helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below.